Hey, Quinn, where you at? Ah, uh, you know, I'm gonna be on your head for the whole season because right now we're supposed to be 0 9 right now. Be lucky to be 1 and 8. You remember that? I'm gonna be on you till this whole season's over because that was the most horrible analyzing that I've ever heard from anybody that claims to be an analyst, just like your career as a football quarterback. You're almost as bad as that. I wouldn't say you're quite as bad as that, but you're almost as bad as that, man. I mean, Jesus, you being a quarterback was horrific. Fuck the 0-9 shit, man. Your quarterback career was, whoa, I see ghosts like Sam Darnold times 11. Holy shit, is Halloween still here? That's real, man. Hey, check this out. I'm not trying to clown you, but I'm just going to be on your head for the rest of the season. Just be just be ready. Be prepared because we're supposed to be 0-9 right now. And um, I see different. <laughs> just like all of us Jets fans see different. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not here to talk about no Brady Quinn and all that. Um, I'm just talking about what the what the greatness is and what the Jets are doing right now. Like my man Granny said, we're about a year ahead of schedule as far as gelling starting to compete and uh, starting to become this great uh, type of team that's resilient, fighting with the young players and, and really steadfast, ready to try to play to win. This is an amazing time to be a Jets fan, man. And for everybody that's been a Jets fan since knee high, for as long as we've been Jets fans and all we can remember is misery, this goes out to y'all, man. The ones that stuck in there when there was nothing to stick in there for. When most people jump the bandwagon and become a different team because they can't stand their team that never wins. This goes out to y'all, man. Because I'm one of them. I don't believe in no bandwagon bullshit. If I'm going to go down with the ship, I'm going to go down with the ship. You feel me? Like the Titanic all over again. And we've been doing this for years. For my whole life, basically, ever since I can remember at the age of four to five, um, just one or two good years out of those whole times, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there were glimpses of great times, but this this team right here, I, I can honestly say I've never seen a team so young, well put together by ownership, down to management, down to the coaching staff. I have never seen all three phases on the same page. And I, that goes out to all y'all. You know, most of y'all Jets fans have probably never seen nothing like quite this. It's almost like I don't want to jinx it. It's too good to be true almost. It's like, what is the catch? Knock on wood. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it, y'all. But I'm just saying, I'm being honest. Like, I've never seen a Jets team so well put together from ownership to management to the coaching staff to the players i mean we got a young core that we can almost say that we can see five to seven to five to ten years of good football i mean it's not like that 2015 season where we just kind of like threw band-aids out there patched up some shit and, and, you know, had a uh, Decker, a Brandon Marshall, and, a, um, you know, the bearded man himself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Fitzpatrick. Fitzmagic most days that year. Fitzpatrick when he played the Bills at the end of the year. Not like that, man. And the 2010, 2009, 2010, 2011 Jets, they got put together too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Rex Ryan's staff got put in there and a lot of the you know players got put in there and and we had maybe two to three to four good years to try to run with that but it actually fizzled out quicker than we thought it was going to fizzle out and 98 99 97 98 uh the tuna that was put together too in a sense you know what I'm saying they only had a couple maybe three good years to work with with an old ass Vinny in the Jets, you know what I'm saying? But that was a good team. But I'm just saying the difference between all these teams that I'm, I'm recognizing from back in the day, it's not, it's not built as, as foundational as this one is. I mean, this one has a foundation to where they can change a culture 
and, and new Jets fans, the ones that are just being born, you feel me, that want to stay Jets fans, they can actually say, this team right here has foundation, has roots to its core. And I've never seen that as a Jets fan for as long as I've been a Jets fan. I don't know if anybody agrees with me on that, but I'm excited about it. Besides the injuries, everything is working in place. You know, I'm still hurt. I'm still hurt in the fact that Brees Hall can't get to live out his rookie season to go for that rookie of the year because it'd be between him and Sauce. You know what I'm saying? It would be, be between him and Sauce Gardner. Them two would be fighting tug of war in it from offense to defense. Man, it just hurts me to – and, you know, um, my man, it, just, it has nothing to do with the rookie, but, uh, the, on the, you know, Vera Tucker. Vera Tucker, man, he's supposed to be part of this great experience. But that's okay. You know what? There's always next year. That's what we always say, right? There's always next year. But this is a, all, this is a good quote for going in the direction we're going. There's always next year to see what we have established. And what we have going forward. And this is a very exciting time, man, to be a Jets fan. And for those that have suffered for so long, it's time to reap the benefits, y'all. Real talk. It's time to reap the benefits of how far this team has come to redeem itself, to build the foundational roots, and to seeing the gameplay that we are witnessing. And at being six and three on a bye week going forward with a full head of steam and momentum, why not us? Why not us, man? Um, I brought up some things about the midseason, which is an amazing little story by NewYorkJets.com and JBot.com. Uh, um, <laughs> it's just a lot of great stuff. I would say peep it out. I would read some of this, but. They give shots out to Garrett Wilson, man. 42 catches, 521 yards, and two touchdowns. The man is on fire. Young man. Rookie. About, you know, top 20 wide receiver right now, man. And it's only going to get better. That man is hungry. That young man is hungry, man. Connor McGovern, they're giving props to him. He's been the most stable part of the line. Since since the beginning of the season. They're saying Corey Davis. He's done his job. I agree. You know what I'm saying? He should be back for the for the uh, Patriots game. Big Quentin Williams getting it, getting it right. Getting it in. And of course, Sauce the Boss Gardner. DJ Reed. Um, that, that cornerback duo, man. Top two. I, I got, I'm going to put it out there. The top two duo in the league right now. Reed and Gardner, and they feeding off each other. You saw what Reed did with Diggs. You saw what Gardner did at the end of the game with Diggs, and I was scared of that last play. I thought it was going to be like, because I was like, oh, no. But it was just good, like good, mature defense by Gardner, man. You know what I'm saying? Reed is 2.0. Even Revis giving this man props. You feel me? Revis said, damn, he's doing things I ain't even did as a rookie. There's a stat about that. I, I forget what it is. I think it's, I forget, man. Like, there's a certain stat that Revis didn't even get. I would say uh, research that. I think it's like two, I forget, man. I don't even want to misquote it. But there is something that he's doing that Revis didn't even do as a rookie, which is speaking volumes, y'all. I am just so, um, I'm shocked, I'm astonished, I'm weary, you know what I'm saying? That's that Jets trigger, like, yo, the abuse of us being Jets fans, you're like, oh, what's the catch? Are we going to lose the next six? You know what I mean? Like, that's real shit. I'm being honest. I'm a Jets fan. I could do that. We know what it is. But I am going to reap the benefits of where we're at right now and the now of being six and three. This is such an amazing feeling, and uh, I just I just hope all Jets fans around this nation, man, that's peeping this video, man, and I just want to say enjoy it. Let it seep in. Let it soak in, man. Six and three, but this is such a six and three feeling. Like It's not just like the Jets just beat bad teams or backup quarterbacks or anything like that. 
They beat good teams, some of the best teams in the league, with, in the league with a good quarterback, with good quarterbacks, and the Jets can be put in this mix for playoffs. Why not? Why not us? Can we finally start reaping the benefits and staying confident in the team that we've been trying to be confident in for years? Can we finally get this in? Can we start finally feeling the fact that this culture has finally changed for the better? You know what I'm saying? So on that note, man, I totally went off tangent on this video. I was supposed to read some shit. I'm not going to do it. I'm just allowing myself to feel the greatness of of, of, of the turning of the tides for a team that I fell in love with since day one as being a football fan. You know what I'm saying? And I would suggest all Jets fans feel this shit, man, and enjoy it. And just know that there are better times coming. This is just a, a, a glimpse into what can possibly be for this team for the next five to ten years. I'm going to knock on wood because there's still that little scary shit in the background like, wonder it does stop it, old Jets fan. It's a new Jets fan in town, baby. And he sees nothing but doves across the rest of these next seasons. You know what I'm saying? Playing competitive football. Being in the top 10 of defense and offense. And try to play for that big game. And you know what it is in the Super Bowl, baby. One day, I said to myself, I was like, one day before I pass away and move on to new, new pastures, I'm going to see the Jets get there. Now I can honestly feel like that might be a realistic goal, baby. On that note, let me know what you think. Are well, you going to see something before you pass on to the new pastor, the heaven above? What do y'all feel, man? Let me know. It's your boy just having a good time, good feeling, good vibe, good thing about how our team is doing, man. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. It's your boy, and like always, man, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Get it, baby. I'm out.